Zulena da Cruz suffered the most horrendous atrocities as she fought for Timor-Leste's independence as a clandestine freedom fighter. But she has never received financial support for her service as a veteran. She applied for a pension 15 years ago, and she is still waiting. And she is not alone. Many more Timorese actively involved in the resistance who have applied for financial assistance have been waiting since 2003 for a decision. 55-year-old Juliana de Cruz was an active member of a clandestine group which collected food and cooked for Valentil in the bush. It came at a shocking cost. She was arrested, imprisoned, tortured, and sexually abused by Indonesian soldiers and allegedly attacked by members of her own group. It was to have lasting impact on her life. I have eight children, but three of them passed away because of miscarriages from torture and sexual abuse, and I was arrested and went to jail in Glenu. Thousands of Timorese veterans receive a pension from the government in recognition of their service. Juliana da Cruz registered to apply for a veteran's pension 15 years ago, but has never received a cent from the government. In her application submitted in 2009, she was given the number 424. I felt sad because during the time we were in the bus, we fought together, but finally some people received pension or subsidies from the government, but I haven't as well. And most of the women around the territory are still waiting for it. For the past six months, Juliana da Cruz has been selling cigarettes on a street corner near the bus station to support her family. I usually come here to sell cigarettes and credit cards to get money to buy food to live. I got between one to five dollars per day. Her son says he's broken hearted about his mother's suffering during her time in the resistance. I feel terrible for her because when Indonesian soldiers took her a woman away, anything could have happened. The Commissioner for National Veterans for Timor-Leste worked alongside Juliana da Cruz in the clandestine movement. I know Juliana very well because in the resistance time she was involved in the clandestine as a member of OMT, which means Timorese women's groups, Inner Mera, Lisa Pat, and I gave her a quote. The Commissioner for National Veterans says Many others have been waiting between 15 and 21 years for verification and approval to be granted a pension. To get recognition from the state, it takes time. It's a long process. In Timor-Leste's 2022 budget, $1 billion was allocated for veterans' pensions. Juliana da Cruz has been recognized as a victim of war with a certificate from the National Truth and Reconciliation Commission, previously known as CAVR. Zuri Madeira, RTTL World News.